Say goodbye Say goodbye to the blue Because the road has finally taken you To a place where there ain't no more bad news Hi, I'm Richard. We're at the Open Air Blues Festival in Brazil. With me is Walter Trout from the United States. Um, you started out your career in, with uh, theater musicals and playing the trumpet? I did. I, when I was a little kid, I thought I wanted to be on Broadway and, uh, you know, do West Side Story and stuff. And um, I played jazz trumpet. I wanted to be a jazz trumpet player. And I actually, even for my 10th birthday, I got to spend the day with Duke Ellington and his orchestra and wow. hang out with them. And um, I was really into it. But one day, my older brother came home with an album and said, um, this is not jazz, this is not trumpet, this is not um, Miles Davis, but you need to hear this guy. And it was the first album by Bob Dylan. And it opened up this world to me that, there's these songs that are simple but have so much to say, and um, and I, little by little, I, I gravitated towards folk music and then rock and roll and then blues and and the trumpet pretty much got put away. And you, you turned to guitar. Yeah, um, the Bob Dylan thing. I realized if I got a guitar that those songs had three chords they were simple yeah. and I could go to parties and play those songs and, and then out came the Beatles and I was 13 and I'm like well I gotta get an electric guitar now um, and then out came um, one year later after the Beatles out came the Paul Butterfield Blues Band with Mike Bloomfield and he was playing with this aggression and fire and passion and speed and I was like oh my god listen to that guy and at that point I knew that's I want to make that sound what state are you from well I grew up in New Jersey and I moved to California when I was 22 to seek a musical career and so that was actually 50 years ago I'm 72 could you have gone to Woodstock? Did you go? I did go to Woodstock. What was it like? <laughs> I don't remember a lot. It's an interesting story. I was working as a trash man on a trash truck. I, I rode on the truck with the guy and dumped the trash into the truck. And some friends of mine showed up and said, we're going to a rock festival in New York. You want to go? It was like four hours away from the half town I was in. And I'm like, well, I'm making really good money on the trash truck. I'm like, well, who's playing? And they said, never forget, they said, Johnny Winter, the band, Janis Joplin, Creedence Clearwater, Jimi Hendrix. I'm like, trash truck, Jimi Hendrix, let's go. And uh, I was there for the whole thing. And um, let's just say I was there with 11 people, and we all had different ideas of what happened because we partook of everything that was available. Yeah. Amazing. I do have a, a kind of a joke I say sometimes, which is um, I don't like people to tell me what to do. So when the guy said, don't take the brown acid, and then I, I doubled up and I tell him I'm still waiting for it to wear off. It's a joke. Yeah. And you were <laughs> your uh, top uh, alternative guitarist? My top guitarist? I go back to the guys that inspired me. Mike Bloomfield, okay. Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton, Buddy Guy, um, Roy Buchanan, who became a good friend of mine. But I'm saying you're considered one of the best guitarists. Oh. Oh, well, thank you. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> um, and then you, you had your health problems and it took you 
eight months to relearn to Don't play the eight, guitar? It a year. Yeah. 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 And I worked on it every day, six or seven hours. And uh, I'll never forget when I first time I played a bar chord, my wife and I were dancing around. Wow, I can play a bar chord again. You know, I had to start completely from scratch. It was wiped clean from my memory. I was in the hospital for eight months. I lost 20, I lost um, kilos. I lost 60 kilos. I had severe brain damage. Um, I lost the ability to speak. I didn't recognize my wife or kids. And um, so I had to relearn how to walk. I had to relearn how to speak. And I had to relearn how to play the guitar. And that's what I did for for a year. I just worked on all of that. And you're very involved in uh, uh, several, what do you, how do you say these? Uh, like the British Liver Trust, the yes. Nebraska Donate Life, uh, the yeah. Danish Liver Foundation. Yeah, and the Norwegian Liver Foundation. And Tell me a little bit about that. Um, I, I do benefits for them, and for example, when I'm when I tour in the UK, um, I have in my merchandise table, I have pamphlets from the British Liver Trust. And um, in Denmark, um, I did a, uh, a fundraiser so that the, um, the Liver Foundation in Denmark um, could go to, there was little children in the hospital with liver disease. And, um, the Liver Foundation wanted to do things like buy them a Nintendo, get get them a toy or something. And um, so I did a whole tour of Denmark, and every night I spoke about it from the stage, and I had a, a um, in the merch booth, I had a QR code, and if you just went up to the code, then you could um, donate to the Liver Foundation. And I, I'm a firm believer in that, and I, I talk about it every night from the stage. That's incredible. You're a survivor, and you're a fighter, and that's amazing. Well, You've I was also a, great life, a drug addict and an alcoholic, but I, I got sober um, on July the 9th, 1987. No more drugs, no more drink, no anything. So I was coming up, what's that, 36 years this month. So um, I'm a lucky guy. I feel very lucky. Um, how do you feel about playing in Drizoy tonight? I'm excited. You're coming what to a Romania beautiful, for the first time. Beautiful place to play. and um, Great stage, great organization here. You got a wonderful lineup of musicians this year. A lot of whom are good friends of mine, Eric Gales and Taz Hawkins and uh, um, Anthony Gomes. Um, the list goes on. You know, Beth Hart is a dear friend of mine. Um, I'm very, very excited to be here. I played in Bucharest when I was with John Mayall, but it was in my drinking days, so I don't remember anything about it. Well, it's great having you here. Good luck with your show tonight. And we're waiting for you to come on down to the Open Air Blues Festival in Brazil. That's it. Come on. And what a beautiful evening for a concert out here. We are happy to be here. This is our very first time in your beautiful country of Romania. And thank you for making us feel so good. Now we're going to play some blues. Is that all right? Thank you. Now I have a question. That was some blues right there. Does anybody out there tonight feel like rocking? Wait a minute. I said, do you feel like rocking? Let's go. Lived inside me in my sweet dream when I sleep.
Take me to my grave. Take me to my grave.